All right. Goes for the fancy one for the end. All right, here we go. Artist versus bomb. All right, I'm here now. Uh, okay, so awesome. that's something we see very, uh, very much from Zet, uh, more so than the other bombs. Um, he'll hit you with one dash bomb and then like space it so that he can run forward and throw more, and it's really good pressure. Artist has a hard time dealing with that once it gets started, but has a really good time stopping you from doing it in the first place. So what Zet's going to be doing is looking for an opportunity to get in against these buttons. Like jab beats out bombs, easel beats out bombs. You can get it up, but once you have, once you get pretty close to Artist. They don't really have the best frame data for doing stuff to you up close. Yeah, their, their best options are the fat Kirby that we just saw, and then like a few of their up close hits, but like all of them have pretty big startup and end lag. So you can get past that, there's not much else they can do. Yeah, and so Artist is also say... just like, it's a character who has the range to outrange bombs, but doesn't have the frame data to do it easily. And also, more importantly, doesn't have a landing hitbox, really. Artist's that only real too. landing option is Sculpture, which is... I mean, it's okay, but it's not fantastic. And it doesn't um, cover, like, a lot of them. Like, it's it doesn't a front go super box, far. Yeah, but... it goes really far in front and a little bit behind, but it doesn't go, like, straight down. Um, it'll beat bomb. It'll, like, it'll hit you if you're standing near you near them, but it, it won't, like, you can't land on a set bomb with it. Which is rather important in this matchup. Yeah, no, exactly. Solid Snake and Doberman skins for bomb when modding becomes more common. That'd be awesome. I would love to see mods for this game in general. Yo, yeah. If we had a like, lot of potential. if we had the um the like Snake Kirby from like Snake Kirby from Smash, like with the beard and the headband, that'd be very funny. Oh, that'd be awesome. Like even just like as an extra skin, that'd be so yeah, great. that'd be so good. Oh my gosh. I I would really love to have that, and then also a Peach Parasol. Like that would be that would be my ideal skins for my characters. Yeah. Just some like little references there, you know, just yeah. some visual stuff. I think that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd I am getting cool. close to unlocking the really nice parasol skin though. Uh, that's level ninety four. Um, oh, that's almost pretty, there. That's pretty far. Yep, I'm at ninety one right now. So. Yeah, the progression only goes to hundred, right? So you're you're almost yeah. at the I'm end. I'm almost done with the rewards. Yeah. That's cool. The last costume is at ninety nine. It's the Hydra Beetle, which is very cool. Hmm. All right, so Shmita is staying with the artist, going to butter building. Um, good stage for artist, also a good stage for bomb. I like the stage a lot for bomb. Um, that's not a super popular opinion, but I think it's really good. <laughs> you know, I think this is pretty solid for bomb. Yeah, you, but can, you like, think it wouldn't be. You the get best a lot of the benefits of that he gets from flat stages without the. Uh, he kind of has a problem on flat stages of getting air camped by some characters, where you just go up. An artist can't do that super well anyway, but like. A lot of that is solved because on this stage you end up going up to the platform, which Bomb can actually pressure pretty well. Oh, really good string out there from Shinidor. She's not going to get that much damage off of it though. Yeah, I find on this stage generally, like the platform is high enough where it almost feels like just two flat stages. Like, pretty it much. Really That's kind of like how it plays. Anymore. As that is going to take game two and go up to zero. This one's going pretty quick. Yeah, Zet's games move a lot faster than most Bomb matches, I would say. Um, yeah, he's definitely he, more aggressive, he's more than, aggressive than I am. Leave. Yeah. Like, especially comparing it to your play style, which we just saw. Like, it's definitely a lot more aggressive. You can yeah. see him leveraging the Although, dash Although, I was also more. fighting Wrestler. That uh, is true. Yeah. <laughs> you do not that approach Wrestler. to be um, more def defensive in that matchup. Although, actually, Wrestler, I play more offensive than people might think. Because, um, as I said, you kind of have, like, have to run away for a bit, and then you have to run back in and, like, run past them. So, figuring out how to do that without, like, sitting in the corner of the whole game is really one of the things you have to do in that matchup. And we're going to see that matchup right here. Oh, awesome. I love this matchup. Oh, we got a flat stage we here. Another bomb wrestler. And this is one of wrestler's best stages. So typically wrestler's best stage is springy. I'm guessing Zet banned that even not knowing that Shmi might pick wrestler because I haven't seen her play wrestler before, but it doesn't matter. Bomb doesn't really like springy anyway. Um, the only reason I left it open earlier is because I had to fight Meta Knight. So I got rid of all the flat stages. Um, but yeah, this is a really good stage for Wrestler. Probably his second or third best stage, depending on matchup. I think it's the second best stage in this matchup. Because um, I like Butter a lot for Bomb here. But uh, Factory, pretty solid for Wrestler. So you're going to see Shmi take some chip damage. That's probably more than she'd like to take. But uh, oh, good stomp on that Bomb there. That was good. And yeah. you'll see that um, the dash grab will bounce off Bombs like that. Bomb can punish that, though, with another Bomb. Either a jump dash Bomb, or if you do it preemptively, an upthrown Bomb. Which is preferable if you can do it because it lets you set up more, but um, not always. You don't always have time for it. 
Oh, we got their first grab. Can right. they keep up the momentum? Nope. That's always the question. So yeah, that's the, always the question with Wrestler. Um, a lot of the basic. Oh, really good timing on the dash grab from Shmi. That was she gets another grab. Yeah. And she gets a third one. It's the anti air. All right, so Shmidor getting back in this. She's keeping it really close. That's all it took was like three hits, basically. Oh, yeah. Wrestler basically kills you in like four or five interactions most of the time. Yeah. And even then, those can be sort of minimized because you can get some 50-50s off of each grab. Shmi, at, on her last breath here, though, one more hit will do it from any of the oh. bombs. Yep. Gotta play this incredibly... I'm not quite able to get far enough away. She tried to escape right at the end there, but she couldn't make it quite 